Why would Ryan hire a gardening consultant if there aren't any house plants? Oh, uh, uh, and you certainly don't look like you're an employee of a gardening service. You look very familiar, as a matter of fact. Don't you work at the Espresso Bar downtown? Uh, yes, yes, I do. And how did you get in here? Uh, how did well, you get in here? I'm um, calling the police. Oh! Oh! Oh, my goodness. I know you. You work for Rachel Corey. What the hell's going on here? Vicky's under hypnosis. What? The hypnotist is taking her back to the time when she was in the cave. Now, hopefully, she'll remember the man who kidnapped her. Hypnosis? This is ridiculous. There is no man. I don't know why you prefer to believe that. But if you care at all about Vicky, you'll let her finish the Nothing session. will result from hypnosis that will help my wife. I'm putting a stop to this. Who are you? What do you want? Well, come on, Rachel. I've seen you in action. No stockholder could possibly resist your considerable charms. No, I haven't been able to figure out yet who's behind the takeover attempt, but it's my top priority. Don't worry, I have a plan. Listen, I'm glad you'll be home soon. I will, thanks. Goodbye. Well, guess what? What? I just got off the phone with Dr. Lambert, and it is official. The itchy frame nose and the home pregnancy test were right. You're really, really, really pregnant. Yes, I am, and mother and child are both doing very nicely, thank you. Great. And, hey, good thing, too. Looks like you would have to open up a bookstore. I'm going to learn everything there is to know about babies. Oh, very impressive. Well, it's the process that's very impressive. Child development, raising a child in the 90s. <laughs> babies are people, too. Nutrition for a mother and child. These are wonderful, babe. By the time our baby arrives, I plan to be an expert. Oh, in such a scientific approach. While you have your own special way, I see. Yeah, I bought this new crystal this morning. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, oh, no, this is very good. What? You see, what you're doing now, well, the more you touch it, it will, it will send creative forces and, and energy to the baby. Really? Yeah. I'm sending good vibrations to our baby right yes, now? Yes, you sure are. And wearing this crystal is, puts you in a constant sending mode, is that it? Hopefully. A and, you know, that's why I have to stay calm and full of good thoughts and all of that. Well, if you don't mind, I'll stick to the books. Hey, I'm sure the baby will pick up the vibes from the book, too, and that way he or she will... We'll reap the benefits of both our sensibilities. Yeah? Mm hmm Are you sure you don't feel a need to synchronize our approaches? Not in the least. Uh, Mr. Winthrop! Something's wrong. What, what's happening? Stay calm. You must not disturb Mrs. Harris. I'm her husband. I appreciate that, Senator, but if this session is going to work, you both have to be quiet. Mrs. Harrison's clearly sensing a disturbance, and that could disrupt the entire process. Then my brother will leave. You can't just take over here, Grant. Watch me. I have a right to be here. If this is about the cave and the man that Victoria supposedly no, saw... No, she did her. see him. If she saw him, then this is about her safety, and I'm the one responsible for her You're safety. You're the only one who was involved in this whole thing. I was in that cave, too. I'm well aware of that, Ryan. My father may have been there. Now, if Vicky sees this guy, then it, that means that Carl may still be alive. None of which makes it necessary for you to be here now. I need to hear what Vicky has to say. If she has anything to say about Carl, I'll inform you. Fine. The office is yours to use. Dr. Golding? I assume you're credentialed. Fully. And I also assume that anything that happens in this session will remain strictly confidential. Of course, Senator. Whatever your wife says will remain among the three of us. Good. Good, then let's proceed. I want to know everything about the kidnapping. Very well. I can take her back to that. But first, I want to ask her a question. She should hear only my voice. All right, then you ask her. Ask her if she thought she was going to die when she was in that cave. Mrs. Harrison, let's go back to the time you were in the cave. Tell me how you felt. Get out of here. There's no way out of here. All there is out there is cold and snow. And... Uh, 
You're safe now. You can let go of that fear. No. No, I'm gonna die in here. It's over. Everything we dreamed, we planned. You will escape. You will be all right. Do you hear me? Ask her about the kidnapping. Now, I'd like you to go back further in time. I'd like you to go back to that night in Canada when you were about to go to your husband. For Grant to come up the stairs. How does she feel? What are you thinking? Grant is so wonderful. The way he plays with Stephen, it's so sweet. Oh. I want everything to be so special tonight. Because Grant is so special. I want to be the perfect wife to him. I, I... What's wrong? There's someone else in the room. There's someone else in the room. It's not Grant. He's... He's touching me. I want to scream out, but there's... There's a hand on my neck. It's a... Strong, strong hand and such a, such a bad, such a bad smell. I, I can't see anything. It's dark. I know you. You're Rachel's groundskeeper. Yes, Ian Run. But I don't just work for the quarry. Oh, really? Please. Thank you. I hope you won't betray me to my employer. I found I needed some extra income. Oh, don't we all? So I got a job as a gardening consultant. But it won't interfere with any of my duties at the quarry home. Aren't you a little overqualified for watering plants? Well, actually, this one's going to be a little bit different. Well, I should hope so, since there aren't any plants here. <laughs> that is about to change since Ryan has asked me to design a green scheme for him. Green scheme? Yes, we assess the space, the quality of air, the quantity of light, to see which plants will thrive in here. Oh. And this one, does she possess your knowledge of air and light and horticulture? This one is my very able assistant. And we were in the middle of assessing the place when you came in. Well, the place could certainly use some improvement with plants. I love growing things, too. Really? <laughs> yes. And of course, we all know what a tightwad Rachel is with her money. I actually could use a little advice on my flowering plants. Well, I'd be more than happy to help you. Oh, that's lovely, because my peonies came in late this year, and I've been longing to talk to someone about it. Maybe you could call me. We could set up an appointment. Most certainly. Do you have a business card you could give yes, me? Yes, I absolutely do. Right here. Wonderful. Oh, I almost forgot why I was here. If either of you see my daughter, Victoria, or Ryan, please have them call me. It's urgent. I certainly Immediately. Will. Yes, Thank I will let so them much. know as please, soon as I see them. Please call me. We'll set up an, an appointment. That'd be great. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Boy, can you spin them? I'm totally impressed. Quiet. What? Relax. She totally bought your story. For what? An hour? That is not a gullible woman. Oh, come on. Take it easy. How can I take it easy? My cover has just been blown. <laughs> 